Punch. Absolutely devastating knockout. One punch power. Tommy Morrison, if he wins this fight, will go on to a big payday with Lennox Lewis, and that one hurt. Michael Bent in trouble already, but trying to fight out of there. And a left connected, and Bent in trouble again. And Tommy Morrison trying to end it early. And a good right by Bent, and Tommy Morrison is down at 2.05 of the first round. So Morrison connected and hurt Bent. Bent came back with a right hand and floors Morrison. Now Morrison has been down before in fights that he has won. And now Tommy Morrison gets hit with a left and he knocks Morrison down again. Tommy Morrison in deep trouble here in the first round. You can see the bewilderment in the eyes of Tommy Morrison as Michael Bent from New York City looking to finish him off. And Bent just throwing nothing but haymakers right now. And Morrison in deep trouble. And Morrison is down. And the fight is over. Michael Bent has upset Tommy Morrison and has won the WBO Heavyweight Championship of the World. A huge upset in the first round as Tommy Morrison is knocked out by Michael Bent. Halfway through the sixth and final round, can Jared Anderson keep the knockout streak alive? Three punch combination. Jeez. eBay's ready to go. You just got to give him a little help. Push him out the door, Andre. More work from that jab Ooh, of Anderson. Good shot. Russell Mora yeah. is telling Kingsley eBay, you got to show me something. He's thinking about stopping the oh fight with goodness. the damage eBay is taking. Big guy, former football player, 6'4", 276, and he's absorbing a lot of punishment. And a big left hand will end the night. Jared Anderson, 8 for 8, explosive finish. He's still out, Joe. He's still out. Hurt bad. As the 21-year-old heavyweight sensation, Jared Anderson, absolutely floors him here in the sixth round. You know, Anderson being very smart right there, feigning before he actually attacked. Nice block right there and came back with offense and caught him with a nice, beautiful short left hook in the inside right on the chin. eBay was, was pretty much ready to go, you know, and we said early on that he had to get a little more consistent with his offense and if he gets a little bit more consistent with his offense he could get the stoppage yeah he closed the show just like we said and you can see in the eyes of, of ebay that he was ready to go but you know he's been around the game long enough to, to know how to survive and anderson didn't give him that opportunity a great step back beautiful right hand to the top of the head and a left hook that literally turned the lights out of ebay that was the sports center type 10 shot top 10 shot that we were talking about. We're going to keep fighting prospects. We're going to keep fighting people who, who say they can't be beat, who got O's, O, o got to go. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm here for. I'm here to fight the best. And it, since everybody won it, why not give it to them? Trying to take the championship away from Hassan Rockman. And could America lose their oh, best oh, championship? Oh, Mario, 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 Folks, what a well for the for the Russian. Oleg Moskayev got stronger as the rounds went on. Roy Ted, big right hands on a seat. A minute left. A minute left. A minute left. Not minute resting left. on his laurels. He's got a lot of time. Right Jay Nady dangerously close from stopping it in. And it's a knockout. And the fight's over. And Oleg Moskayev. Look, look, look at the look at Oleg Moskayev's face. Oh, man. Look at him. He's oh, man. He's a I don't know what happened to him. Oh, my goodness. What a fight. What a fight. I tell you what, Oleg Moskayev earned that victory. Earned that oh, victory? Did he? Oh, oh man.
simultaneous down. So he is just beginning to move. The fight is over. Weaver has knocked him out in the 15th round. With less than a minute to go in the 15th round, Weaver knocked him cold. Incredible. Tate had this fight in the bank, and he got tagged. Bang to the body, there's the left hook. It hit him right on the button, and he went right down on his face, and he went out. He really didn't move until he was counted out at 2.15 of the 15th round. Well, how do you do? Mike Weaver is the new WBA heavyweight champion. They want him off the ropes. He's going to take a beating. If he doesn't, still groggy. However, oh, he lands a counter left, and he's got Jefferson woozy for a moment. And he's got Jefferson. Maurice Harris. What a punch. There's a left hand from Harris. And there's the left hand from Jefferson. Like a redwood falling. We'll check it again. What a shot. Stiffened and down. Overhead camera shot. Now you see? Jefferson was woozy and threw that left hand from like across the arena. What a shot. Peter has a thudding punch. We can hear it. You can almost feel it here at ringside. Well, he's very broad shouldered, he's very stocky. And they're telling him not to reach. I think his biggest problem in the first round was he was overreaching and getting tagged. Oh, left hand. Down goes Williams. A left hook right on the button. This fight is over. Jeremy Williams not getting up. No chance. He is out. One amazing shot. It's going to be a left hook, folks. And oh. there it is. As Williams was backing away, a terrifying punch. As Williams was backing out of there, he drops his right hand, and the opening is there for the left hook. Williams successfully ducks underneath, but he drops his right hand right there as he backs away and leaves the opening for Samuel Peter. Oh, and look at the left come up and slice it up. And Jerry Cooney's in big trouble. He's ready to go, and there he goes. Badly hurt because he's got a minute and eight seconds left. Oh, and that's it. And I don't think hey, this fight's over. This fight's over. George Foreman blows away Jerry Cooney in the second round. And he came over here to ringside and winked. A minute and 57 seconds of the second round. George Foreman makes believers of some. Watch the inside right hand. Foreman again walking to Cooney. I'm sorry, left got him in trouble. It was a left hand inside that first got him in trouble. And then George didn't waste any punches. Very accurate. Three punches, they all landed and they all kept Cooney in trouble. And then a swinging right hand and helpless and down. This is the finish of the fight and Jerry Cooney really, for all intents oh, and purposes, man. a left uppercut, there's the right, it's all over. You know, George Foreman throws a lot of unorthodox punches. That time he threw an uppercut, he got out over his lead foot and he threw a perfect uppercut. Well, Walking in with it. Yeah. Don't think that's in Howard's temperament. Oh! Down. Are that's you it. kidding that's me? That's it. Strikes hey, F. and F. it comes from F.A. Ajagba. Absolutely devastating on. knockout, one oh, no. punch power. So Absolute cannon blast from Ajagba. 
F.A. Ajagba, who has dynamic power, just showed it off. Ajagba was landing that right hand. He just didn't land it in the right spot. And we see Howard standing in place. Ajagba got a full steam, a full step to get the power and the leverage that he needed. And the punch lands right on the ear of Howard. And it turned his lights out. And it sounded like a gunshot. That's what it sounded like ringside. Look how his body twisted up and his legs and everything. And now his, his that's, head that's, that's natural power. And it's hard to get a fighter like this to not live and die by that, to learn how to do other things. The team is working on it. If they can get a Jogba focused where he's not just living and dying by the power, he's going to be a very, very dangerous man to beat. Tim, because did you see the legs? I did see the legs, but at the same time, let's listen to this next one in real sound. Down! That's it. That's it, Don. My goodness. We are sitting here ringside. There are few knockouts that sound like that. Yeah. It sounded like a shotgun yeah. blast in front of us. Exactly. When I start with the job of the body, it makes him drop the hand down, you know. That's my game plan, you know. So I just packing up with my, with my job, with my left hand. Put the right hand, the cash move. Wilder just coasting back into that neutral corner, and now Fury's looking to split the guard as Wilder's in bad shape. This the fight is over. This TKO victory. There is only one. There is only one. Crown the king, the lone undefeated heavyweight champion of the world, Tyson Fury, the champion. Deontay Wilder was taking a lot of punishment. It was just a matter of time before Tyson Fury landed that shot right there. Stood Deontay Wilder up. He's taking a lot of punishment. That was a good stoppage by the corner. They did the right thing. They showed mercy. Deontay Wilder was getting ready to be knocked out. And here you see it. You don't just go back in the corner and hold up your hands and stay there because you're an open target. And Tyson Fury seen that, and he just came, rushed ahead with his killer instinct, just with a broad, broad of punches, ended it. But to Wilder's credit, he didn't quit, and he wasn't looking for a way out. Here it goes. Straight punch down the middle. Barrage of punches, and that was it. That's a crushing shot right there. Flick jab, another crushing shot right there. Deontay Wilder better be happy that his corner has a heart. You get hit with too many of those when you've already been beat up and you're already hurt, you're not guaranteed to come out the same. Flick, flick. Boom! Right on the side of the temple. Deontay Wilder took it. The Watch for the right towel hit. on the top left. There's that the towel through. from Wilder's camp. And there is Kenny Bayless stop, stopping the fight with a TKO victory for Fury. And it was right on time.